How to customize your sales receipts, invoices, and estimates in QuickBooks Online. And I'm in a client QBO file from QuickBooks Online accountant. You see Larry's landscaping and garden supply here. I'm going to click on the gear icon, settings, custom form styles. You can actually create your own styles. So let's create one for an, a sales receipt, we'll say. Click on new style, and then you can choose sales receipt. And then choose one of the overall formats. We'll say it's the fresh look. And then you're going to click on appearance. And here is my logo. And you can have a logo per template that you're actually creating, which is nice. And where do you want the logo placement? I'm going to have it in the center. Font, page margins. This is important if you're doing envelopes, window envelopes, right? With pay stubs. And if you want to show an account summary, you can. You know, what's been paid, what's still due on the actual invoice you're sending to your client itself. So it's kind of like an invoice slash statement in one. And then the header, that's the top portion of the sales receipt invoice or estimate. You know, show the form name. What do you want to call it? The form number. Or are you going to use custom transaction numbers? And we'll get into that more in the, in the company settings video. Some company stuff there, customer information, as well as you can have three custom fields on a sales receipt invoice or estimate. And on, on the purchase order, too, you can have three custom fields. The activity table, that's the target area of the form. So service product, that's the item, the description, date, you know, which order do you want to put them in. You can't add any other fields, but you're just choosing, you know, what are the fields that you want to show in the bottom portion of your template. Grouping activity by, so if you want to group it by day or maybe by type, that's a great way to do it. If you have a lot of uh, services, you might group those services by type, and it might be easier on the eyes for your client. Collapse activity rows, show the markup, um, show billable time. Typically, you're not going to include the employee name, but it would be there if you, if you want, and then even include the hours and rates. So there's stuff that you can do uh, or just you know not show the billable time at all. And then, of course, the footer for a message to customer or a footer itself. And some people will combine these fields for a longer message uh, that you can show. So then you can preview or print the template that you've created. This will give you an example, what you can expect. And then go ahead and save it. It's going to ask you for a name. We'll just call this sales receipt standard. You create your form styles. And again, it's for an invoice, an estimate, or sales receipt, or several of each type. Then when you're actually on a sales receipt, I'm just going to go to a sales receipt right now, and I'm going to click a recent one by clicking that little clock icon. Now you click customize, and then you can choose the sales receipt standard, save that, and then I can print or preview it. And we'll go ahead and preview it. So it'll take on the template that I just created. Now the other part of custom form styles, and we are continuing to enhance this feature of QuickBooks Online. When you click the drop down arrow, you can actually import a style, and this would work for invoices. Okay, for now, it's just for an invoice. It has to be a docx file, so a .docx file, and I have one already. You can download a sample just to check it out. It's literally gonna kind of take over um, your logo and, and and other things uh, that you have in the file. It's not going to change the company settings, but just for this particular uh, style or template, it's going to bring in whatever you bring in from that Word doc, and uh, assuming the, the, the fields match, right? It's not going to add any extra fields, right? It's going to map to them. And at the time of this video, the import form style is in beta. And if you don't see it, if I cancel out and go back, if you don't see it under the drop down arrow, Go to QuickBooks Labs under the gear icon, Settings, QuickBooks Labs, and eventually it won't be in here, but you'll see this import style, right? And that you just turn that on. There's a lot of cool things in the QuickBooks Labs. Check it out, but import styles there. So let's browse out and grab that, that document. I'm grabbing that D, DOCX file. Kind of see what it looks like over here in the right. All right, so it's going to take on literally that logo and the placement of the company title and address and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. It's preparing your invoice for QuickBooks. Fonts. Looks good. And now you're going to map everything. Now, I, I downloaded the sample. It just makes it easier. But billing address to billing address, shipping to shipping. See, it's using the available fields, not adding any new ones. You have three custom fields. It would 
that would be okay because you can have three custom fields on these sales forms. And in this case, the import form style is only for the invoice, but I'm sure we're going to branch it out to the estimate and sales receipt as well. So you have everything mapped and then you go ahead and click next. And at this point, we want to confirm the style. And again, this will be for an invoice template. Click save and you're going to name it. This is imported invoice. And there it is. So now when we actually go to an invoice, now I can click customize and choose the imported invoice. Go ahead and save that. And now let's print and preview it. And there it is. And that is customizing forms in QuickBooks Online.